Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Ashley, also known as Ashmore Plays on my socials. And we are back with another episode of my Mimi in Winnenberg series. But of course, before we start, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support on the first episode. I'm so happy you guys are enjoying the series just as much as I am. And so it is Wednesday morning, just the night before Mimi and Derek hosted a housewarming party with all their friends and family. And as you saw from the intro, Mimi spent the morning cleaning up but now that she's cleaned up and said good morning to Dirk she is currently in the gym on her bike and I know last episode I said that we were going to be meeting Mimi and Dirk's neighbors this episode but we're actually going to spend today prepping for Mimi and Dirk's upcoming trip. Dirk's birthday is coming up it's actually tomorrow and the dreamers will be going to Mount Komorebi to celebrate. I love that world so so much and I cannot wait for you guys to come along with them but as always we have a few things we need to touch on first before we start the episode since this is the first time i'm playing with this household since the infant update and in installing growing together into my game we now have milestones for the dreamer household and i want to quickly go over them with you guys and the symbology tab if you scroll down oh shoot okay okay actually before we go over milestones let's go over a few mods that i have in my game so the first mod i have in my game is the relationship and pregnancy overhaul mod by lumpino and with this mod it gives your sims preferences on whether or not they want children and as you can see here it says that Mimi is neutral about having children which honestly I think fits her so perfectly I definitely do think she wants children in the future however I feel like Mimi is trying to hold on to the lifestyle that she had in her 20s you know going out to nightclubs and bars going on girl trips traveling and her having children is not gonna prevent her from still going out and having a good time <laughs> Uh, but she definitely won't be able to do that as nearly as much as she did in my Mimi and Sam I Shoot No Let's Play series. But yeah, she definitely wants children. I think she's just being hesitant right now because of that. And then I also have another mod by Lumpino. This is the Open Love Life mod. And this mod also adds preferences to your sims. And it looks like Mimi got the prefers exclusive romantic relationships. Which of course makes sense since she is married to Dirk. As for Dirk, you guys, <laughs> of course we already knew this, but it says that Dirk would be happy to have a child. And just like Mimi, he also prefers an exclusive romantic relationship. And of course, I still have this want that he has with Mimi pinned. So Dirk's ready. He He's ready to have a child. But I do want to go over the milestones that they have. So it looks like Dirk has a milestone from first promotion. And then he has a milestone for first woohoo. He has a milestone for adopting princess into the household. Another the lifestyle for his career. And then you guys look at these three milestones. Made a best friend with Mimi. Got married to Mimi. And fell in love with Mimi. <laughs> so cute. You guys the milestones are so cute. Okay, let's move on to Mimi. So Mimi has a lot more milestones because we have been playing with her. So she has her first promotion. She also has a milestone from adopting princess, but also for LJ as well. And then look at all these social milestones she has. So she has a maid, a best friend milestone with Moses, Lamont, Dirk, my sim self, Nathan, and Paige. <laughs> Speaking of Paige, I'll get to that later on. I'll get to that later on. She has a milestone for getting married with Dirk. And then she also has a milestone for falling in love with Dirk. But you guys, she has another falling in love milestone. And this is for Moses. <laughs> 
And I like to imagine that she might have gotten this because Moses is the first Sim that she did hook up with. So I definitely feel like she might have some sort of attachment with him. But yeah, she has a fill in love milestone with Moses. And Darren has a few milestones as well. But looking at his preferences, he's indifferent to being in a romantic relationship and then he does not want children <laughs> right now, which makes sense since he is an elder. But for his milestones, he has had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> then of course one for princess and the reason why he doesn't have a married milestone with Darlene is because I never added Darlene to the family because she did pass before Mimi met Dirk so in our minds we're gonna imagine that he has a milestone for getting married with um, Darlene as well as falling in love with her but those are the milestones that the dreamers have and then we're gonna move back to Paige so I looked at a few of you guys comments and after the little hot tub incident I've installed security cameras in their home. Like we have security cameras everywhere. So the next time someone wants to do anything shady, we got them on camera. Paige and Danny got away the first time, but if they were to hook up the second time, we got it on camera and we got evidence and we were able to show it to Penny Pizzazz. But as I said before, Mimi is currently working out after cleaning up. We have Darren fishing and hopefully he catches some fish that we can put on the grill for dinner tonight. He did catch one fish. He caught a perch. I'm not sure if we were able to cook it though. I don't think so. So hopefully we're able to catch something. I don't know if we'll be able to in a lake like this, but fingers crossed. And Dirk is currently working in his office. He's working on a side job for a client. And this is what the client said. I'm looking for someone to make a blog about my cat. And I think you're just the person for the job. I think you can get that done for me. Of course you can. So he's currently working on that for one of his clients. And of course, Francis came in here to watch him. Francis has been following Dirk around the house lately. And it is the cutest thing. <laughs> She's definitely become attached to Dirk. I look at her. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, it looks like Darren caught another fish. Oh, he caught a beta fish. Can't really do much with that. Is Mimi still working out? She is still working out. Okay, so when she gets done working out, I think we're gonna have her relax in the sauna for a bit. Because, I mean, why not? We got it in our house. <laughs> Uh, let me check her needs. Okay, it looks like she needs to eat and we're not cooking today at all. Like she just cleaned the kitchen too. We're gonna be eating leftovers once she gets done working out and hanging out in the sauna. Oh, it looks like, oh, yes. Oh my gosh, y'all. We got, we got trout, you guys. And I'm pretty sure we can eat this. Look at Darren, y'all. <laughs> oh, he's the cutest, you guys. Oh my goodness, you guys. I can't get over Windenburg. All right, she's done with her workouts. What a vibe. Uh, yeah. Imagine having a sauna in your house. <laughs> uh. Must be nice. Oh, it looks like Darren's done. Looks like the fish in this area are too crafty for Darren. Try fishing elsewhere until he has more skill or try using more valuable baits. So it looks like we were able to fry up the fish Darren caught earlier. So we'll definitely do that later on today. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I don't think I said what we have planned today other than prepping for the vacation, but I think after Dirk and Mimi get done with work today, we're gonna have them hang out by the pool, make a few drinks, have some soul music playing, and then we're gonna have Dirk cook some fish on the grill. We're just gonna enjoy this nice ass backyard they got. <laughs> okay, so Darren's done fishing. Let's check his needs. His needs are pretty good. I'm gonna have him use the restroom and let's have him work on a painting. Let's do an abstract painting. Let's do a medium size. Honey <laughs> let's check this buff. Emotionally mindful. Finding emotional control is a journey. You're taking the first step. But to gain true emotional control requires more slow time through various thoughtful activities. And as I said last episode, Mimi has the inner peace aspiration. So doing things like this will help her um, complete her aspiration. Okay, I'm gonna have Mimi get out of the sauna. We're gonna take a quick shower, have her eat some leftovers, and then we'll have her film some content. And I'm thinking we film a pack with me type of video for her Mount Komorobi trip. I'll have her eat from the charcuterie board from last night. Mimi came into Dirk's office to eat just so that she could spend time with him. And it looks like Darren just finished painting a masterpiece. So it looks like, oh, that's cute. 
let's hang it up. Let's put it right here. And you know what? Let's contemplate on it. Let's do that. Look at him. He's so proud of himself. <laughs> okay, so Dirk gets done at three-ish. I was gonna have Mimi film <laughs> before they relax at the pool. Oh, I think Dirk's done. I was a little unsure about choosing a freelancer to do such an important job, but you delivered. Thanks a bunch. All right. Yeah, Dirk's done for today. I'll have him use the restroom and then we're going to have him grab a book and then go ahead and head to the pool. Oh, I think I want to get this one, you guys. <laughs> I definitely think nonfiction might be up Dirk's alley. Somewhere a frog just learned to jump rope. In a trio of satirical essays, Carson goes for the juggler, lampooning politicians, celebrities, and his own mother. <laughs> Yeah, we'll grab that one. Okay, we're gonna have Mimi film that pack with me video. So we're doing fashion tips and we'll see how that goes. Also, I got this new sign for her office and I think it is the cutest ever. Uh, I wanna say this is by, oh, I think this is by Sixum. Yeah, it's by Sixum. It's the So So Neon Light. We'll have Darren make his favorite drink because I don't know what his favorite drink is. Then we're gonna turn on some soul music. Finally, we have the station in the game. You guys know I've been hollering about having something like this in the game for the longest. I'm so weak. <laughs> oh, Darren's getting a call. That's oh, from Victor Fang. Oh, it went away. I think, I think Darren's favorite drink is sparkling water. Okay, period. <laughs> Not the Perrier, he is so bougie. Okay, I'm gonna have him come out to the pool and drink his sparkling water. Yo, look at them. What a vibe. Dang, I really wish Mimi wasn't missing out on this. Oh no! <laughs> Not Darren with the weak bladder. I'm so sorry, Darren. I have him go use the restroom. Is she done? No, I think she's still recording, y'all. Darren is sweaty and miserable. This has to be a sure sign that he dislikes fitness. Oh, <laughs> Poor Darren. Shabby bully galan. Oh, period. This is actually one of... Oh, <laughs> oh right? I was going to say that's actually one of the outfits she has planned for um, her Mount Komrevi trip. All right, so Mimi finished her video and I titled the video Pack With Me for Mount Komorebi. And I'll have her edit this video once her and Dirk get back from their trip. And now that she's done, we're gonna have her hang out by the pool. I will never get over the sunset in Windenburg. Oh, Mimi probably made it out here, y'all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> y'all, look at Princess and Darren. Are you serious? <laughs> These two have to have like the best life ever. Hello. Did y'all just see that? She just got a call from Moses. Yeah, she got a ten spot from Still Surroundings. <laughs> oh my goodness, girl, you just moved into this house. Y'all, yeah, maybe it's something else. I'll have her talk to Dirk some more. What is she doing? I discuss favorite recipes. Okay, sure. Mumba ya ligdoba. Oh, moosh pepso. Oh, oh, they're so cute. Torch, reka. Yep. Su foi insta. Probe. And floy. Espina. Funub soon. Jinjil shopa. Let's see what affection is. Express admiration. Family kiss. Is this new? I think this comes with growing together, y'all. I want to see what it is, but I don't want them to get up. Well, actually, no. Let's get them up because he needs to start cooking dinner. Oh, Griffin. 
Oh, so cute. Okay. Let's have Dirk hook that fish. Hello? Mimi girl. Oh no. Okay, I guess she didn't like that drink she made. Let's have everybody come and eat. Oh my gosh, y'all. Not Mimi getting the same quirk as Dirk. Alright, they're cleaning up from dinner. Oh, she's gonna play ping pong with Dirk. Okay, I'll let her do that. Oh, Darren's going to bed, y'all. He's so cute. It is his bedtime. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> like... Imagine... <laughs> imagine this is your view. Oh. Aha. Not the owls. All right, you guys. <laughs> Let's get done with this game. We're gonna have them head to bed too because I plan on them heading to Mount Komorebi pretty early in the morning. Oh my gosh! Mimi has been feeling successful lately and wants to keep it that way, even if that means becoming an overachiever. Oh wait, you guys, I actually don't like this trait. <laughs> I actually don't like this trait at all. I would much rather her get the perfectionist trait instead, so I'm gonna say no. We're not embracing the change. Mimi has declined a self-discovery trait moment. She didn't feel like it was the right fit for her at this time. That's okay though, she might discover a new one in the future. Oh no, did she just start her period? She did. I was gonna have her and Dirk hunch a lot during this trip. <laughs> I mean... This ain't gonna stop them, but the timing couldn't be worse though. Uh, she's gonna she's gonna go use a tampon and pad. Let's have them head to bed. All right, you guys. So Mimi and Dark are in bed. It's one o'clock in the morning. It's actually not that bad. It's not that bad. I think we're gonna head over to Mount Komorebi around maybe like seven, seven ish. So I'll have them wake up at six. Darren won't be coming with us, it'll just be Mimi and Dirk, but we will be bringing Princess along because, like I said before, she doesn't have much time left with us. So I want Mimi to spend as much time as she can with Princess until the Grim Reaper arrives. <laughs> All right, it's six o'clock. I'm gonna have them wake up. Y'all, look at Princess. She's so cute. I wish she would use her bed, but it's okay. Oh! <gasps> There's no way. Y'all, <laughs> oh my god, I'm not reading that out loud. <laughs> Y'all got eyes. Y'all can see what that says. Oh my god, Mimi. Hold on, let me have let me have Dark wake up. Okay, he didn't he didn't get a <laughs> he didn't get a buff, y'all. It's again, it's just Mimi being freaky. Is she making a drink? Y'all don't do that. Here, how about you give your man a kiss? <laughs> since you clearly... <laughs> since you clearly dreamt about him last night, oh my god. <laughs> Is Princess scared of the TV? Girl. Oh, that's another- okay. This is another mod I downloaded. I downloaded uh, Lupino's Road to Romance mod. And with this mod, you're able to gain romance skill. And as you level up with the romance skill, you're able to unlock new romantic interactions. I still can't believe she got this buff. <laughs> Matter of fact, should we have them? Should we have them punch? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna have her hunch for them. <laughs> Girl, hurry up for y'all Michelle's flights and turn this off. Zombo phony. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Oh boom. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> oh, is Princess still in here? Oh no, she left. <laughs> Good for her. Oh my gosh, y'all, they're still going. Okay, they're done. 
pleasantly satisfied. Uh, not that we want to sleep. I need y'all to get up. <gasps> oh no! Unsatisfied from low romance skill. You know what? Uh uh. <laughs> I'm cheating that skill. Let's just make them level seven. Let's do that. Can't believe he got that. They've never gotten that before. And then we'll do the same for Mimi. All right, so they're changed for the trip. I'm gonna grab their luggage. I'm gonna pack Princess's bed, her food and water bowl, and then her litter box. All right, you guys, we're gonna head over to Mount Komorebi now. So we've made it to Mount Komorebi and we are currently at the rental that Mimi and Dirk are gonna be staying at for this trip. But before I give a tour of this beautiful lot made by Kawaii Foxita, I wanna talk about the vibe I wanna set for this trip. We are in Mount Komorebi for Dirk's birthday. And again, we are not aging him up, we're just celebrating because his birthday is the day before love day, which is another reason why they are in Mount Komorebi. This will be the first love day that they celebrate as a married couple. And Mount Kamrebi is also having a spring festival for Love Day tomorrow that Mimi and Dirk are very excited to go to. But the vibes for this trip is very zen. It's going to be very relaxing and calming for Mimi and Dirk. And honestly, this is like my dream trip. Like I've always wanted to go to the countryside in Japan and just surround myself with the culture, enjoy new foods, practice mindfulness. And so for this trip, there's no booty shaking, there's no clubbing, no bar hopping, none of that. This is, <laughs> this is strictly a trip where Mimi and Dirk can just enjoy each other's company. I also want to take my time with this trip. I don't want to rush any of the gameplay. And honestly, I don't even want to do too much editing either. So with that being said, we're going to split up this trip into two episodes. So for the first episode, we're going to be celebrating Dirk's birthday. And then next episode, we'll be celebrating Love Day and attending the Festival of Lights. So now we're going to move on to the house tour. And this is the Hazakura house by Kawaii Foxita on the gallery. And it is such a stunning build and I can't wait for you guys to see the inside of it. Small disclaimer, I did make a few minor adjustments to it, but other than that, you guys should definitely download this lot. So at the front of the house, you have these massive sliding doors, and when you go through them, you are met with this gorgeous foyer area. Like, is this not stunning? Is this not stunning? There's a fire pit in the middle, and then to the left is like the living room area. And here's what the living room slash dining room area looks like. It is super spacious and I love it so much. There used to be a kotatsu in the middle, but I moved it out into the courtyard, which you guys will see a little bit later on. So now we just have a dining room table here. And then coming this way, we have Princess's food and water bowl. And then to the right is the kitchen. And I love the kitchen. It's so airy in here. But through these big doors here is the courtyard. And oh my gosh, this tree is massive. But as you can see over to the left, we have the Kotatsu table. And then over to the right, we have a few meditation stools out here. And I can't wait for Mimi and Dirk to use them. But we're gonna go back inside and then go around the courtyard. But first, let me show you guys the view of the courtyard from the living room slash dining room. Like, is this not gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I am so jealous. I'm so jealous. But going back through the foyer and then if you make a right at the front door, you are met with Mimi and Dirk's bedroom for this trip. And this is what it looks like. We have Mimi and Dirk's luggage already in here and Princess's bed as well. Through these doors here is the bathroom, you guys. And I love the bathroom so much. We have a hot tub in the middle and then over here is some sinks, some mirrors, and then in here is a private room where the toilet is. And it is a nice ass toilet, I might add. <laughs> and then over here, we have Princess's carrier. And then through here, we have a shower and then a tub. And that is pretty much it. That is the rental that Mimi and Dirk are gonna be staying at for the duration of this trip. But let me show an aerial view of it as well. Like, what? I can't get over the courtyard. I'm in love with this build. Like it's very much giving contemporary Japandi style and oh, I love it so much. Count how many times I said love it so much <laughs> in this video. But yeah, now that I've given you guys a tour of their rental lot, I think we're gonna have Mimi and Dirk go into town and grab something to eat before they go on a hike. But let's let's check on um, Princess and see what's wrong with her. Okay, it looks like she needs to eat. So I'm gonna have Mimi feed her before they go into town. 
Earl Hearn, Dirk got a sentiment, y'all. You know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories and we'll make many more, I'm sure of it. They are so cute. Oopla. Oh, <laughs> not Princess running over here. She said, girl, finally. Oh my gosh, y'all. Mimi got a message from the talent agency, but we're not going to be able to fulfill it, unfortunately, because she's on her trip. Hello, Mimi. We're searching for a celebrity partner to promote Primsim Cosmetics. Oh, and it's a makeup company, too. I don't think I brought any of her equipment to film. Yeah, I didn't. And like I said before, this trip is about just Mimi and Dirk, okay? Nobody else. So no work, none of that. So we're just going to ignore it. There'll be plenty of opportunities in the future. But now we're going to go. Oh my god, y'all. This world is so stunning. I love Mount Kamurubi so much. Like, look at this world. Like, I know I talk about Windenburg being my favorite world, but Mount Kamurubi? Mount Kamurubi is a very close second, you guys. It is a very, very, very close second. All right, so we're going to have Mimi and Dirk come over here to the food stand and order some food. I think I'm going to get Mimi to get the onigiri and then a matcha. And then for Dirk, I think we're going to have him order maybe the salmon nigiri. Let's do that. And you guys, look at the Yamachan statue. We're definitely having Mimi take a picture in front of it. And we're going to take a bunch of pictures on this trip, you guys. I I'm not going to forget. <laughs> I'm not going to forget. We did come to Mount Kamurabi for Mimi's girls trip in Mimi and Say Shuno, But we didn't come to this neighborhood, I don't think. Oh, there's the train. Unfortunately, you can't ride the train. But it's nice to look at. <laughs> Not him eating it with a fork. Oh my goodness. You know what? Let me set his preferences to chopsticks for this trip. And you guys love days tomorrow. Oh, I can't do it because he's eating. Okay, we'll do it once he finishes. And then Mimi's eating her onigiri. Actually, I think I'm gonna have them both grab some matcha. Go, yips, whips, mikos, bora, prise, noko, unik sao, yerble, fadish, fadish. Y'all, it's Kiyoshi. It's Kiyoshi. I think he's an adult now. He is. <laughs> he is so fine. He is so fine. Okay, okay, okay. Focus. Saquinario. They cannot be any more adorable. Oh, they are so cute. And I think they got a buff from the matcha too. This tea has great curative effects. And let's check Mimi's buffs. Okay, looks like she got the same one. And, oh, she has an Adori sentiment with Dirk. All right, I'm gonna have her come over here and take a picture with the statue. And then I'm gonna have Dirk take a picture of her. And she definitely would ask Dirk for a picture. <laughs> she's like, hey Dirk, can you take a picture of me with the statue? Oh, she's so cute. The statue is nowhere in the picture, but it's okay. <laughs> she's so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so adorable. Now that they've taken pictures in front of the statue, let's go back over here and have them go on a walk together. And I actually have a new mod in my game. And this mod is by Zero. It is called the Go for a Jog Together mod. But we're gonna ask Mimi to. Actually, no, let's have Mimi do it since she. I feel like she's the more active one in the relationship. We're gonna ask him to follow for a walk. Hopefully, he says yes. Floy Masharnu? Yeah, yes. Oh, Yoyim. Froom. Huh. Sure, Mimi. Let's do something fun. Oh, so cute. Excuse you? All this. Hold on. All this space in the plaza, and you wanted to walk your little uppity ass through us. That is so. You know what? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. All right, let's have her, um, let's have her go for a walk. And then Dirk should follow behind us. Yep, he does. Perfect. 
I wish they could be able to um, talk with each other like they can when they go on a walk on an actual hike. But there isn't any hiking areas in this neighborhood. So this will have to do. Oh my gosh, y'all, look how beautiful this area is. Look at the lake. Oh, I can't get over this world, you guys. I can't. This is a bathroom, it is. Do they use the restroom? Uh, they kind of do. Oh, Dirk needs to use the restroom. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, he wants to kiss her. All right, let me have her stop walking. And I'm going to have them um, use the restroom. I think she needs to change her pad and tampon, too. Yeah, let's do. Let's go ahead and do that, too. Um, let's see. Let's see if there's any other area I want them to go to. Oh, we can come here. I want, yeah, we can come here and take a picture together. Let's do that. Misty oh, oh, they oh. face the opposite direction. Okay, it's still cute though. All right, I'll take it. Oh, it's already two o'clock. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do now is go down here and have them swim for a bit. And then, oh, I didn't talk about what we're doing today. Okay, so yeah, we'll come over here, swim for a bit. And then I'll head back to the rental. Mimi's gonna be baking a birthday cake for Dirk. And then later on tonight, they're gonna have a private birthday dinner for Dirk in the courtyard I showed you guys earlier. And yeah, I've never had any of my Sims come over here before. So we're gonna have Mimi and Dirk come out here and swim for a bit. You know, they look so good. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all look at Dirk. Slowly but surely he's coming over here. Chilo Livka. Bro Bribaza. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, you better not be coming Grana into the lake. Uba. Uba. Like, there was no one over Grana here. Uba. Oh my gosh, y'all. Whatever. As long as he doesn't come over here and bother. Globy. Excuse me. Y'all, I'm finna get mad. <laughs> I'm finna get so mad. Sir, go away. <laughs> Read the room. Yeah. Oh, I hate fitness from disliking fitness. Dirk can't stand this. <laughs> Dirk, hun. Oh, not the weather getting cloudy. Hold on, y'all. I'm cheating that. Absolutely not. Y'all, he's having a bad time. I might I might get rid of that fitness preference. I'm pretty sure he got that autonomously. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mimi is just loving it. I love fitness. <laughs> Mimi's in her element. Oh, she got a happy breath from Good Walk. What's she doing? Oh, they're getting water. Okay. Yeah, it is four o'clock. I was thinking about having the dinner around like seven-ish, eight-ish. What's Dirk doing? Is he getting water too? He is. Oh, let's check on Princess. Oh, as soon as Mimi got here, she's running straight to her. And then she ate hug from Mimi. Oh my goodness. She is so adorable. She's like, oh my gosh, mom's home. <laughs> gonna have Dirk take a bath. And we're gonna do a muscle relaxing soak for him. And hopefully that'll help him feel better. And then as for Mimi, we're gonna have her um, bake that cake for Dirk. Oh, Dolphus Polka. Oh. Disappointing drink. Girl, it was water. <laughs> what do you mean? And y'all already know we're making the SimCity cheesecake, period. And hopefully she gets done with this in time before dinner tonight. Y'all look at Dirk. <laughs> no. She said, yeah, I gotta make sure it tastes good for my baby. Oh, y'all look at Princess. <laughs> You're joking. Is this not the cutest thing? <sighs> Oh, period. She got done just in time. Okay, can we put in the fridge? I think we can. So now we have Dirk's birthday cake ready for tonight. And now it's time to get ready for Mimi and Dirk's private dinner. And if you are watching Mimi and Samurai Shuno, you already know who I'm about to call to come over. 
Um, I'm about to call over Al Dente, and Al Dente is Mimi and Dirk's close friend, but he's also a celebrity chef. He is their go-to whenever they need private dinners and private catering, so we're gonna call him over to cook Dirk's birthday dinner, and while he's cooking, I'm gonna have Mimi and Dirk get ready for the dinner. Oh my goodness. This gotta be a sign. This gotta be a sign. Okay, so compatibility, I wanna say comes with growing together. And I think it's also based on your Sims traits, if I'm not mistaken, but look at this, you guys. Bad compatibility with Paige. Of all Sims, Mimi has a bad compatibility with Paige. And this tree is based on her preferences. These Sims have bad compatibility. Their affinity from the start won't be great, but it could be certainly worse. While it'll be a challenge for them to grow close, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not worth trying. Interesting, interesting. So they don't even like the same things. Like they don't have much in common. Crazy. It's honestly sounding like Paige is getting the boot this season. <laughs> like that's what it's really giving. Um, okay, there's Al. Let's invite to hang out at Current Lots. All right, so Al's here and he's gonna be making Mimi and Dirk's dinner. Is he done already? He is. I'll have Mimi and Dirk talk to him for a bit before he leaves. Compliments. Let's give him a heartfelt compliment. Let's thank him for cooking tonight's meal. Y'all look at Mimi's outfit. She looks so good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No quarb. We'll have Dirk. We'll have him brighten his day. Oh, he wants to talk to Mimi instead. Oh. Ho, ho. Oh. <laughs> what is she doing? No. Girl, no. <laughs> I'm gonna remove Al from the family and then ask him to leave. But I do appreciate him for cooking Mimi and Dirk's dinner tonight. And then I'll have Mimi serve drinks for tonight. We're gonna do wine and we're gonna do Dirk's favorite wine, which is the Soft Shadow Vernalino. And that mod is the serve drinks mod by Zero, I wanna say. And I love it so much. It's so much more convenient to serve drinks that way than have Mimi make a bunch of the drinks at the bar individually. Okay, what does he wanna do? Oh, he's gonna talk to her. We're gonna move these two drinks in here for later on tonight. All right, you guys, the dinner is set for tonight. Look how cute it is. I'm gonna have her wish Derek a happy birthday. Oh, <laughs> not yet, girl. Let's just embrace him. Y'all, Dirk is so fine. Our boy. They were both so fine. We sit in a row. Hmm. Oh, Gosha. Yeah, Mimi looks so good. The dress is by um, Joan Campbell. Shalbo Barleen. And I love it so much. I love all their CC. Excuse me? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Hurry's romantic Zest. exclusive lifestyle. Fioba. Yeah, I got scared. Yes. All right, before they do something, they got no business doing. Let's have them come out here and eat their meal. It's true, oh, oh, did he just compliment her? He did. Oh, this is so cute. Not a princess coming over I'm here. Oh. <laughs> Not her trying to get Dirk's attention. <laughs> She's so cute. Girl. Princess, girl. Where's Mimi going? Oh, she's done already. 
Dang, girl, that was quick. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> Oh my goodness, y'all, they are struggling. Oh, they are so cute. Okay, Mimi's cleaning up. Oh my god, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh, they both won. Oh, they both won. Okay, so... I wonder if you could blow out the candles on a katatsu. Um, let's just move this candle out of the way and try it out. Okay, let's see. Add birthday candles. Alright, before we get Dirk blow them out, we're gonna take a picture with him and his cake. Oh, he's so fine. <laughs> he is so fine. And then we're gonna take a few pictures of the cake. There we go. One more of Dirk. Now, I have a mod in my game. It's, I think it's like Ageless Birthdays. I don't recall who the creator of this mod is, unfortunately, but I will have all the mods that I've mentioned in this episode linked in the description because I've bombarded you guys with a bunch of mods today. <laughs> And I apologize for that, but what this mod basically does is it allows your sims to celebrate birthdays, but they don't age up, which is great for people that play with aging turned off or play with very long lifespans like myself. I don't remember how many days I have adult sims set to, but I know that is quite a few. And I didn't want Mimi and Dirk not to celebrate their birthday for another 82 days. And so I'm definitely thinking about doing this um, annually. So for Dirk, we'll celebrate his birthday the day before Love Day. And then Mimi's birthday is, I believe, the second day of fall. It's on a Monday. So anytime these two dates come up on the calendar, we'll have Mimi and Dirk celebrate their birthday. But we're going to have Dirk blow out the candles now. Let's have him make a wish. And I think I already know what the wish is. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, he can't do it in a Kotatsu table. Oh, he is so ah. fine. <laughs> oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, he got up. He got up again. Who's <laughs> Wabi? Oh, he didn't get the first time. Humble boy, na humble boy, na Yes. Getting older, y'all. He's getting older. All right, let's have them grab a slice together. What a cute way to end off his birthday. Alright, so it's midnight and the Mimi is cleaning up, but before Mimi and Dirt head to bed, I think I want them to relax <sighs> in the hot tub for a bit. So we're gonna grab the wine, and then we're gonna come in here and... Oh! <laughs> we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. Let's just have them get in together. Oh, what a vibe! <laughs> Okay, so Mimi brought Dirk to the hot tub to talk about something pretty important. So as we saw at the beginning of this episode, Dirk is ready to have a child while Mimi is pretty indifferent. And I honestly think it's because she is aware that it is such a huge responsibility and a huge life change for Mimi and Dirk. However, it is Dirk's birthday and I think she's realizing that they are getting older and I think she's also realizing that they're ready. They're, they're ready to start a family with each other. And so exactly one year ago today, Dirk proposed to Mimi. He asked Mimi if she could spend the rest of her life with him. And so I'm thinking it's Mimi's turn to propose something pretty life-changing for Dirk. And I want Mimi to ask Dirk if he's ready to start a family with her. And you guys, I'm just, oh my goodness. I know I said I was gonna wait a few more episodes to have Mimi and Dirk start that family, but I think they're ready, y'all. I, I think they're more than ready. Like that being said, I'm gonna I'm gonna have her ask. Oh, ask if Dirk wants children. Okay, let's do that, you guys. 
I mean, we already know the answer, but I think she's just gonna ask us to just to make sure. Like, you said you wanted to have kids, right? No. Bon and Gravy. Oh yeah. Oh. Clever take out. I like having children. Yeah. All right. Okay, I know you guys complain about me pausing too much, but I have to. I have to take my time with this. Um, talk about life together. Okay, let's do that. Let's see how that goes. Crifoba. Kids. <laughs> One G. Oh, a nervous Kids. me. Oh. Ospa. Oh. What is he doing? Oh, oh he's talking about their life too. Oh, so oh my gosh, y'all. Shalbo Barleen. Shima Kabij. And let's make future plans together. Oh my gosh, it's happening. Princess! Princess girl. I'm gonna have her ask Mimi to stop taking her birth control. <laughs> Rina. She's like, okay. Simona <laughs> Saro. Mimi will no longer use protection when hunching with Dirk. Oh, so it's official, you guys. It's official. She's off her birth control, and yeah, they're they're ready to have a child. And she's feeling very confident too. I'm gonna have her make a move on Dirk. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, new family dynamic jokesters. Turkey and Mimi just can't stop cracking each other up. It's always a hoot when these two are in the same room. <laughs> I knew there was something I forgot to do. I forgot to set, um, I forgot to set everybody's family dynamics. I kind of don't want them to have this. I feel like there's another family dynamic I want Mimi and Dirk to have, so I'm gonna say no. If anything, I want Dirk and Mimi to have this dynamic with Darren since he is a goofball sim. Oops. Zombo Skiba, Zuba Tube, uh -huh. Lava Zubi. <laughs> Skiba, uh. you move. Oh, he's feeling really enamored. <laughs> Aww. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> Y'all, it's three o'clock in the morning. I'm having her. I'm having her woohoo with Dirk. Fene. Femvoy Hapiano. He's like, dang, <laughs> you trying to make that baby now? <laughs> she said, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, yo. <laughs> I can't believe it's happening. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's four o'clock in the morning. What a great way to end off Dirk's birthday. Pleasantly satisfied. Pleasantly satisfied. All right, let's head to bed. Girl, go to bed. Go to bed. All right, looks like Mimi and Dirk are finally in the bed. They went on that hike, ate real good, drunk a bunch of wine, and then ended off the night with Hui. Yeah, they're about to sleep real good, y'all. <laughs> they're about to sleep real good. But it looks like we're moving on to a very big chapter in Mimi and Dirk's lives. They're starting to plan for a new addition to the family. And now we just have to have them woohoo a bunch and <laughs> hopefully Mimi gets pregnant. But we'll finish off their trip in the next episode. So please stay tuned for that. But if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and comment. I would very much appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of my Mimi and Winnenberg series. And I'll see you guys in my next video.